This is my first version of the uh, sensor board. He uses a 96 by 48 OLED display, humidity, temperature, sensor, real-time clock, accelerometer, uh, navigation button, push button, micro SD on the back, the uh, Cortex M0 processor, battery charger, and LDO. I liked this sensor board because it's pretty tiny, uh, but I wanted to try something a little different. So the next version um, uses a much larger display. It has the same sensors all on one side of the board. And on the back, it has the micro SD and the right angle battery, nine volt battery connector, which you can use as a stand. I, th I thought that was honestly a little different. The one part I don't like about this design is when you put the micro SD on the back, you have to uh, leave a bit of a gap. So I had to space these nine volt battery connectors off the board, which is a bad idea. They tend to break after just a few battery inserts. I wanted to try something different. And I always liked this style of um, board where you have the display on the front and then the buttons all on one side. But I never ever liked all this stuff that was around the display. You could see I wanted to try something different that would hide all this stuff but still have everything on a single board. So I came up with this idea. It's sort of like uh, like a little TV where you have your all your parts and then the little window that the uh, glass could hide all of the parts of the LED that, that you don't want to see. So I also wanted a color OLED display. So I came up with uh, with this little thing here. So it still has the uh, navigation button, push button. This is the uh, the boost part for the OLED. Uses a uh, RGB LED right there. And on the other side, it's the battery for the real-time clock, and then the processor, and then the sensors here. And uh, yeah, so that's it there. Power this up. You can see what it looks like. Yeah, there it is there. So I like how it hides everything. I like how if all of the uh, other parts are on the back, hidden pretty well. And it's still pretty thin and just one board. Um, the, this was a design challenge because it's a four layer board, all the tracks that connect all this side to this side have to flow internally and externally through these little gaps here. Uh, take it took probably a month, you know, off and on to get it right. But uh, this design on the next revision, I'll correct a few things. I'll probably get rid of this large LED and put something smaller in. I'll see if I could somehow hide this flexible part, which could easily be damaged. And one error I had was when I put that micro SD holder there, it actually bumped into the, the glass. So I'll have to try to think of something different I can do there. I could probably go to a smaller footprint for this processor instead of the large one that it is now. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks a lot.